25th of March from Hamburg. So I took half the, half the time, I had to report every day to the Gestapo in Beuthen on my discharge paper. On the back it says so, typewritten. You have to report to the Gestapo every day, <coughs> which I did because any infraction could have uh, meant uh, going back. And they gave me permission even to go to Poland to say goodbye to my relatives I had in Poland, in not far, ha an hour from Brighton, cousins, uncles, and so on. <coughs> and uh, when March came, yeah, and my mother had also applied for me, un unbeknownst to me, that I should be sent to the Kitchener camp in England that was for ref set up for refugees. And we were waiting for the visa to go to England for me. So I said to myself, whatever will come first, I will take. 25th of March came, Hitler occupied Czechoslovakia. It was smelling like war is coming, so I said, I am leaving. We had to buy the ticket to China, to, uh, both to go to and back in case China would not let me land, which at that time was Japanese control, Shanghai. So the German line would not be out of the money for to transport me back to Germany. We refunded the money though uh, when I arrived in China and uh, landed to my mother. And uh, I lost my, my pen. Can you stop it? Yeah. Just six seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay. As I arri our ship arrived in Genoa, there were a mail dropped uh, from uh, my mother wrote me a letter to the agency of the HAPAC line, and there was a letter waiting for me. And in that letter, and that was about uh, a week after, uh, seven days after I left home, saying, your visa for England has arrived. But that was too late then. Uh, this is how fate can play a role in one's life. I would not be probably sitting here today I could have been uh, like some other people who went there are uh, in Australia today, friends of mine, or in Canada. So we went on the, on the ship for 51 days. Uh, if you want to, I can uh, tell you all the stops we made. I saw quite a bit of the world. Can you tell me about your arrival in Shanghai? And what was yes. When we arrived in Shanghai, we were uh, received by a committee. There were already about, oh, 10,000 people there already, refugees. Prior to my arrival, we were received by a committee <coughs> on and transported by open trucks to a collection center. That there for you for the time being can stay overnight. They had uh, some abandoned uh, warehouses that they put some bunk beds in. One was an abandoned office building where they put some bunk beds in to get, uh, or schools, old schools. And I was, uh, uh, sent to a, uh, in, a room, in a building that was part an office building, uh, but they took some floors and that's where I stayed for three weeks. Mm, oh, maybe 50 people in one room. It was not what I liked and I had no money. I had one dollar. I was allowed to take four dollars, 10 marks out of Germany and I didn't take a dime more. I spent some on the ship, so I came up with one dollar. 
and I was looking forward to get out of there. And uh, I like to say I'm enterprising, so I, we got together four uh, young men, and we said we will rent us in one room in an, ap in an house, in an apartment, and have that for us, not with the others. And shared the expense. I did art jobs. Mr. Ross, there again. I'm going to put in a question. 